In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get yourself your own customized professional logo like this one right here without needing to know Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, or any other design programs. Now, as a streamer or a content creator, one of the, the base levels, the foundations of being a content creator or a streamer is your brand. And this is something that everybody kind of has to think about as they get started into content creation, because if you don't really know the direction you're going, what kind of persona you have, what your brand is all about, then it's going to be hard for people to relate to you, right? And so you want to figure out a way to present yourself and promote yourself and market yourself in a way that people are going to remember and that's going to stand out and, you know, not just get lost in the crowd. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the foundation of your brand as a content creator or a streamer, and that is your name and your logo. Now, when it comes to figuring out a name, I'll give you guys a couple of pieces of advice on that, but figuring out a name is going to be very personal to you. And what I mean by that is I can't just sit here and tell you what name you should have. I could rattle off a ton of different names that sound cool, but the reality is you need to pick out a name that is going to define who you are as a content creator, as a streamer, a gamer, an artist, a musician, whatever it is, right? The first thing I want to recommend is do not pick out a name that has numbers and special characters or special spellings or things like that if you can help it. Now, if your name somehow involves a number because that's special or important to you, that's a little bit different of a story. But if you really like the name, you know, Sniper Bro, but Sniper Bro is taken by like 50,000 people, so you have to be Sniper Bro 50,002, it's it's not going to be it's going to kind of get lost in the crowd. It's not going to stand out, right? Uh, if you pick out Sniper Bro, but you replace all of the eyes with, you know, ones and things like that, it's still going to be hard for people to remember. But if you were to pick out a name that combines, let's say, two different things that define who you are, I'm going to use myself as an example, but Eagle Garrett, this helps define who I am as a person because I was an Eagle Scout growing up and that was something that was very important to me and kind of helped shape, uh, you know, who I am today. But also my name is Garrett so I combine the two together there are not any other Eagle Garrett's out there at least at the time that I created that username and so Eagle Garrett became my brand and so I was able to brand around that with Eagle logos and and uh, you know the Eagle kind of being our mascot and you know I also like Eagles in general so because of those things combined it made sense for me to put those two things together so figure out for yourself what you know, is the kind of the, the, the things that describe who you are or what you want to be as a content creator, right? What is important to you? Maybe you really love football or maybe you really are into, uh, you know, Call of Duty or things like that. So figure out, well, what's the most important things to you that define who you are as a content creator? So once you figure out what your name is, the next thing is to figure out what type of branding you want to have. So pretty much the most important part of branding and there's a lot that goes into branding, but one of the big things is to figure out what type of logo you want to have represent your brand, right? A logo kind of gives people something to identify with you and your brand and your content. Now, as a content creator, ultimately you are the brand. You are the creator. You're the person that is making the videos, is making the, the, the memes, is making the content. And that logo doesn't define you necessarily, you define the logo, but the logo gives people something to associate with you. So for instance, if you have a line of merch eventually, or you want to have a, a little profile picture of your logo or things like that, then this gives something to kind of associate with what you're doing. That logo is going to be very important moving forward. And a lot of people like to have gamer logos and things like that, but how do you get a good one without spending a ton of money on a designer? How do you get a good logo without having to learn for hours and hours and hours, Photoshop and Illustrator and things like that? Well, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to get a professional customized logo for your stream or for your YouTube channel that is going to look awesome and it's going to incorporate whatever colors you want as your brand colors and you don't need any design experience or prior knowledge of programs and things like that because it's super easy so where are we going to do this how are we going to do this well we're going to go over to one of our favorite sites on the internet for branding graphics things like that and that is placeit.net 
Now, here we are at the homepage of Placeit.net, and I do want to say a huge thank you to Placeit for sponsoring this video. Placeit has actually been a longtime sponsor of this channel and my Twitch stream, and we love Placeit. I use Placeit for all kinds of things, but I wanted to show you guys how easy Placeit makes it to create a customized logo for your brand without needing all of this extra stuff. And you may be thinking, well, it's going to cost me a bunch of money, but hold on. Let me show you exactly what's available and what they have. It's not going to cost you too much money. In fact, it's probably one of the best deals around. So when we're on place, we're going to go up here to gaming and you can see that they've got a bunch of different options here. And one of them is logos. So you can go directly to their gaming logos from right here, or you can just go up to their logo section and then go to the logo maker. And that's actually how we're going to do it today. We're going to go up to logos and logo maker. Now, if you want a specific gaming related logo, then you could do it this other way and it's going to limit it to just gaming logos. But this is going to give us a huge amount of different logos, not just in the style of gaming, but in a bunch of different styles. So we went to the logo maker and now we're here and we're going to type in our company name. We're just going to use myself as an example. I'm going to type in Eagle Garrett and then we're going to hit next. And then it says pick up uh, or pick any industry. And so I can literally pick gaming from here if I want to, or I can just say logos in general, right? I get any logo, whatever. But let's say that we wanted to keep it specific to gaming. We could do that and say, let's go. I'm going to go ahead and hit logos all, and we're going to hit let's go on that one and see what they give us that are outside of that gaming look and feel. And you can already see they're starting to bring in a bunch of different logos here that have Eagle Garrett already on there. And then I can further customize this down to uh, different graphics right now they're showing like Eagle Garrett with like a dog or, or a samurai but Eagle Garrett right we want an eagle in there so we're gonna click on choose graphics and we're gonna type in Eagle once we do that it's literally gonna bring up a bunch of different logos that have been professionally made of Eagles right and so I can literally scroll through here I can look through all of these and see if there's anything that I like anything that stands out if you're going for a more simplistic logo they've got things like this that look kind of cool uh, and I could go down here and see what else we have okay so let's try something like this a little Eagle in the shield let's see what this looks like here and it's already gonna start filling in yeah look at that it's already gonna start filling in all these different looks and feels uh, for this logo, right? Different color schemes. It's going to start uh, showing me different, you know, different fonts for it, whatnot. And I can scroll through here and, and just basically take a look at all their pre made logos, right? Eagle Garrett them all. <laughs> I feel like this is supposed to be like Gotta Catch them all or something. Uh, but let's go through here. We're going to, we're going to look through, see if we see anything we like. Lots of cool different, um, different logos. And remember, these are all customizable. So if you see something that you like, but you're like, oh man, I wish the colors were different or I wish the, uh, you know, this was over here or this said something different, you can do that. Just wait. So we're going to go through, we're going to find one we like, and then we're going to further customize it from there. Okay. I'm kind of liking this one right here. So we're going to click on that one and it's going to bring us into this pre-made logo and then we can customize the rest of this however we want. So, uh, right now our text is Eagle Garrett. And then it says point, but we're going to say, we're actually going to change this to Twitch dot TV. Okay. So this says Eagle Garrett Twitch TV. This could be a good logo to put on, you know, advertisements or things like that. Uh, but we can also take off the Twitch TV and literally just have our name Eagle Garrett down here if we want. Um, the other thing we can do is we can change the background, which I do recommend if you're going to make a logo to make the background transparent. Uh, so if you need the background to be a certain color for, um, you know, profile picture, things like that, you can change it right here. Or if you want your logo to just be your logo that you can print on other things, you click on this uh, color right here and then you go down to this little like gray and white checker box and you click on that and it's going to take the background away. And the, the way that you'll know that the background is gone is when it transitions this to a, a checkerboard. And that means that the, that's basically invisible. So it's just your logo that would uh, that would export as like a PNG file. Um, and so a PNG file is what you're going to want. Um, and PNG stands for Portable Network Graphic, I believe. And that's the type of graphic you want that has a transparent background so that you can put this on other things uh, later down the road, right? So um, we've got the, the Eagle logo. We're going to change the uh, accent color to our red. I already have our red input in here. It's going to be a little bit darker. Uh, the main color, I actually think we might want to try out this black here. Let's try out the black and see what that looks like. 
Okay, it made it a little, maybe a little too dark. So let's lighten it up a little bit. There we go. Lighten it up there. And, uh, and then we can also change, for instance, like if I don't like this font down here, then I can go up here and I can change that font to something different. You can try out a new font just by clicking on it and seeing what it looks like. Okay, I'm kind of liking that one. Let's keep looking around. That one's a little hard to read. Actually, it's very hard to read. Uh... Okay, so I'm kind of liking this one right here. It's called Robinson. Uh, I kind of like the Robinson uh, logo. It kind of smushes the name down a little bit, keeps it more condensed. Once you find the font that you like, basically this is your logo. You're pretty much done. If you've got your colors set the way that you like them and things like that, I might actually change this to like white. Maybe do like an eagle's head in white up here. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm liking that. So this is, this is one logo that we could end up with, right? But let's say that you don't want a name down here. Well, normally you would think, well, let me just click the eye right here and it'll turn off, but it gives you this little error that says you need to enter some text, right? So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go back and uh, we're gonna go back to our logos and our logo maker. And we're gonna, we're gonna basically go through the process again because I'm gonna find a logo that does not have text overlapping the logo itself because I just want this eagle to be my logo and then I want my text to be separate. And that way I can have the logo by itself or I can have the text. And this one has the, the, the text integrated onto the logo. So let's go back over to the logo maker, do the same thing we did before. And once I get everything pulled up, we'll start from there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so once you've pulled back all the logos here, let's say you want a logo that does not have text overlapping on it. You're gonna wanna scroll through here and find a logo that does not have any text on top of the logo itself. And so we're gonna scroll down here and this one right here has no text on top of the logo. It's all underneath it. So we're gonna click on that one and we're gonna adjust our colors and things like that to match our brand. And then we will get rid of the text so you can have just the logo itself. Okay. So before we do that, I'm going to show you guys uh, what this looks like so you can see it a little bit easier. But see, these are our, this is the text that's on here. And let's say that I don't want the word tech on there or the slogan. So I'm literally going to just uh, click those little eyes right there. It's going to take it off out of the way. And then I'm going to blow this logo up to a much bigger size. And the only problem is, is I still have Eagle Garrett right here. Well, let's say I want the logo by itself. I don't want my name on there. I'm just going to drag it off the screen, set it right over there. And now I can resize this to full size and uh, you can resize by just dragging the corners here. And then also you can, uh, you can, once you grab this, if you'll roll around with it here on the, the canvas, you'll notice that these lines help you center it, right? If they're crossed like that, it means it's right in the center. So once that's centered, you can go ahead and make it a little bit bigger if you want to center it up again. There we go. And then we're going to change our graphic color. So let's go ahead and change this to, we're going to say white and then the accent colors are red. There we go. Okay. So that right there could be our logo and uh, we say, okay, that looks awesome. Or if I wanted to, I could even change it to yellow. If I liked yellow better, that actually gives me a yellow beak and a yellow eye, but whatever you like, you can change right here. And then once you're done, once you're done, you change your background to the checker background and you download this logo with that checker background. And this is gonna be a PNG file. So I'm gonna go up here to the top and I'm gonna hit download and it's gonna process my logo. And then once my logo is processed, I'll show you where we go to download the file. Okay, so now it says click here to download. So we're gonna click on that and it's gonna ask us where we wanna put that logo. And you'll notice it automatically puts it in PNG image format. That's that, that uh, portable network graphic that we talked about. That's got a transparent background. And so you just have to save it under that name uh, or name it whatever you want, hit save. And then once you save it, you're done. You've got yourself a professional logo. If you want to put your name back on this logo, then you can go down here. You can uh, hit reset layout and then let's go and turn the background back to black so we can see what we're doing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and re-enlarge that really quick. Move our name down here. And now we can put our name on top of the logo however we want or underneath it. In this case, we might do underneath. If we want one on top, we'd probably do one of those other logos that we talked about. But now you can have your name and your graphic in the same same thing. You can either have a background on there or you can get rid of the background again and then just export both of these. Maybe we want the name to be in our red. So we'll click on the name color, change that to red. And there we go. We're done. We got it done. This is a professional logo 
start to finish, and we customized it to fit our needs. What's cool about Placeit.net is that everything that you download, if you purchase either a monthly or a yearly subscription to Placeit, or you just buy an individual graphic, it is completely yours once you purchase it. In fact, let me go over here and I'll show you guys basically um, what is included with using any type of graphics off of Placeit.net. So this is the terms of use that Placeit has for anything that you download off of their site. And this is really cool, you guys, because this makes Placeit stand out against all the other places that I've seen that are similar. I've never seen anybody do it this well and this professionally. But what they what they allow you to do is a couple different things. One, you can use Placeit to add, alter, or modify content to make a final design. So like we just did, we we modified the, the logo, we changed it up, we did whatever we wanted to, right? You can publish, broadcast, display, and dis, uh, distribute the content you create with Placeit. So literally, you have the right to publish it, broadcast it, display it, do whatever you want, anywhere and it's completely yours you have the full license to do that right you also uh, are free to create content for a client and sell for a fee so for instance uh, if somebody needed you to make a design like an advertisement or something for them you could use place it to do that and and they could hire you you could use place it and sell them that content so you actually have full rights commercial rights for whatever you make on here um, also you can put your final design on any kind of product and then sell those products so if you want to put your logo on some t-shirts on a hat on a mug whatever you want to do it's completely 100% yours to use however you want um, and also you can apply to register trademarks with the designs and logos you make so you can take your logo and register it trademark it it's yours right the way that you made it the way you created it it's 100 yours and the reason why i'm showing you this and they've got a couple of you can'ts and basically they're saying you can't steal their content and then make another website just like place it's you know so you can read through that too that's you know well outside of what we're trying to use this logo for right uh but the reality is is that um, place it gives you the the full rights to utilize this logo however you want so it's completely yours right there's no copyright on it that you're not going to get any kind of issues with it it's going to be 100 yours so once i download that eagle graphic that we made it's mine to use. It's my logo now. I can use it in my profile picture, in my banners. I can use it on my my YouTube and my Twitch and anywhere else on my, you know, my merchandise. It's completely mine or it's completely yours if you get it right. And so I wanted to show you this because the next thing we're going to look at is place its pricing and place its pricing is insanely good. You guys, it is literally the best price out there. Super, super, super low cost. So let me pull that up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Check this out, you guys. You can purchase a single logo like the one that we just made, the eagle with my name at the bottom. Uh, you can purchase a single logo for $39.95. Now you may be thinking like, like what? 39 bucks, 40 bucks, I'm just starting out. But it gets way better than that, you guys. This is for one logo. This is for one logo, it costs you $40 if you were to buy it by itself. But place it offers monthly or yearly subscriptions, which you can cancel at any time and there's no contract whatsoever. So if you come over here and you sign up to place it for $14.95 for an entire month, you can download unlimited graphics from place it right up here, get unlimited subscription graphics, which means you can download anything you want unlimited for an entire month, that's 30 days. So you can literally make yourself a logo, make yourself Twitch banners, uh, Twitch panels, uh, webcam overlays, end screens, you know, starts, you know, starting soon screens, all that sort of thing with place it in an entire month for $14.95 or for an entire year for $89.69. Okay. That's actually a 50% off savings. Now here's what's crazy. You guys, because we are sponsored by place it place. It has given me a link down in the description of this video that you can click on and get 15% off of these prices right here. So when you click that link, it'll take you over to place it and now place it's only going to cost you $12.70 for the monthly subscription 15% off or $76.23 for an entire year of unlimited usage of place it you guys so you can literally download all your graphics everything you need your logo you can download multiple versions of your logo so if you want your logo on like five different colored backgrounds or you want your logo with no name and then your logo with a name and then your logo with a name and your twitch handle and all that kind of stuff you can do that unlimited 
for $12.70 or $76.23 for a whole year. And if you do it at $76.23 for a whole year, that comes out to basically $6.35 for an entire month. So that is literally half price of this. It's super cheap. And for $6.35 a month, you're talking about like this like less than it costs for netflix or spotify premium or things like that to have unlimited graphic potential and that's not just for logos but that's for your webcams like i said your your uh you know just chatting screens your animations for your logos all that kind of stuff you can get all of it for that one price per month and so or this price for the whole year so i'm telling you guys this to say it is extremely cheap because a logo like this on its own cost forty dollars and if you were to go somewhere else and hire a graphic designer to make you a logo with this level of quality and design and that sort of thing, it's going to cost you potentially into the hundreds or even thousands, depending on who you who you go with. Right. But if you're starting out, you're going to say, well, I want to find like a designer that's reasonably priced. You're still going to be spending 20, 30, 40 bucks, 50 bucks on a logo design minimum. Right. And so, uh, with that being said, you guys place it as the best deal. And because you can customize the logo, however you want, you can make the changes that you want and don't have to go back and forth with emails and, and messages and that sort of thing. You just make the logo you want, you download it right then and there, and you are done. So guys, I hope that has been helpful for you. I hope that has literally revolutionized your idea about getting started with your content creation journey. You can start out picking out your name and then get a logo to go with that name. And that's going to give you a foundation to build your brand and your content on top of. And so I encourage you guys go check it out. Placeit.net link in the description of this video for that 15% off and huge thank you to Placeit for sponsoring this channel and this video and everything we got going on. We really, really appreciate them. And I hope this helps you guys out. If it does leave a comment, let me know what your name is and what logo you wind up going with. And of course, uh, guys, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, help to get this video to as many people as possible. And of course, the notification bell helps as well if you want to see when videos like this go live. I'm also, like I said, on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett. Swing by. Let me know if you have any questions and you can come by there and actually tell me uh, what logo you went with. Or if you've got your logo as your profile picture, come by and tell me you made a logo for my video and I'll come check it out. I'll click on your name and, and check out your logo. Um, on top of that, you guys, we also have an awesome Discord community. If you want to join our Discord community at discord.gg slash flock, over 21,000 members in there. We would love to have you. Great community. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and all of those great places. So come check out the content I'm producing on all that stuff. We've got gaming content and, and advice stuff and, and all kinds of cool stuff so but with that being said thank you so much for watching as always rock on peace out god bless and last but not least you don't have to aim up if as you down him let me know because I'm, I'm precision in this guy if you down him okay i will oh, i see him yep right there oh i downed him you're garbage no, no way you didn't no know. way oh my, i just team wiped him he said i'm garbage <laughs>